It's no secret that one of the best ways to get our kids excited about something is through fun, hands-on activities. And that's exactly what members from our local National Association of Women in Construction are trying to do next weekend with the Block Kids Building Competition. Karen Kreitlow and Raven Hoffman are with Sioux Falls NAWIC. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, I just want to hear a little bit more about what NAWIC is. I know we talked sure. a little bit about National Women, but... Mm -hmm. NAWIC actually stands for the National Association of Women in Construction. Um, they're a national organization that's been in the nation over 60 years, and we've had a chapter in Sioux Falls for over 40 years. So, And I've been to at least one of your events yes. to honor the Women in Construction of the Year, which was yes. a fantastic event. But tell me more about why your organization is really needed. Um, we Nationally, women make up 9% of the workforce in the construction industry. And we feel we're really an under, underutilized resource. Women bring a unique perspective and a different way of looking at things that can really help a project streamline and come out better. So 9% of the trade is made up of women, but do I dare say 90% of the brains? <laughs> I, I, I think let's, let, we'll just go with that. <laughs> so you have an event coming up this weekend. Tell me about you. your event. Um, our event on October 12th is our Block Kids event. It's a Lego building competition. Um, the kids get 100 blocks and they get 50 minutes to build whatever they want to as long as it's construction related. Um, we see so much creativity in this, in this event. It's so awesome. It's such an awesome event. And we do it for kindergarten through fifth grade. And the event is completely free for these kids to come to. And we're seeing some pictures from the past event. And it does look like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So it's happening this weekend. And what you give each set of kids is 100 blocks. And mm -hmm. so that's what you've brought here, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. That okay. is what they get. So they get the only blocks they're allowed to use are um, four, six, and eight. And, and two. twos, so two peg for six and eight. We give them 100 blocks and everybody gets the same amount. Everybody gets the same amount yep. and they can build something construction related. Yes. Why is an event like this important for kids? I'm just gonna go ahead and open these up because I mean <laughs> Legos are here. Well, it's important to get kids um, just interested in the construction industry. You know, we have a, a huge workforce shortage in the trades and sometimes kids don't even know that that's something that they can do when they get older, you know, be a construction worker or be an architect or an engineer. So this kind of gets their mind in the right place. And I think you were telling me earlier that this, your organization, your trade is made up of people from such varying degrees of skilled trades and mm -hmm. education. And so are you seeing a shortage in a specific area that you're really trying to influence? It is really across the board, but we definitely need skilled field people in all parts of the construction industry, from carpentry, tile installers, electricians, plumbers, equipment operators, and also um, into the architects, engineers, the construction managers like what I do. It is just across the board. Mm -hmm. So tell me, Karen, do you have any examples of, of past events and kids that really have stood out to you or have built something kind of amazing? Oh, every year there's something really awesome. Um, the details that these kids have, and sometimes the project itself doesn't really show the detail, but part of the judging process with our event is they have to answer questions about their project. And so sometimes the answers is where all the details are. Um, like last year, our winner built a skyscraper, which isn't unusual, but he remembered to put a red block at the top for the, for the airplane light. You know, you have to have those on the top of, of skyscrapers so airplanes don't fly into them. And he, remember, he also added green blocks for green spaces. Um, oh, that's really impressive. Yeah, that yeah. kid is going to go big places in His the plan in life is to one day build the tallest skyscraper in the world. That was what he told us. <laughs> so, <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Okay, I want to go over the details of the event just yes. one more time so that we can make sure everybody can get to this event because you said it's free? It is. Okay. It is free and we are partnering with Habitat for Humanity and we will be at the Restore building. Um, it's Saturday, October 12th, 9 a.m. starts our registration. We start building right at 10 a.m. And we do have, um, we only have 100 spots available. We are at about 75 kids already. So if you're interested, 
we need you to get it registered. And where do you register? Um, they can go on our website and download the registration form there. Okay, because you have about 30 spots left? Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah. I mean, I've got some kids. I might need to go on there. Like, can we pause the show for a minute so I can look that up? Yes. <laughs> so how can somebody, how can a kid, if they're really in it to win it, prepare for a contest like this? Oh, we have kids every year who practice. Practice. They do. Yeah. The ones who come back, they practice. They count out 100 blocks, and maybe it's not exactly what they have in the bag, but they count out 100 blocks, and they practice to what they want to build for that day. That's not a bad strategy. Is there a specific time limit then? It's they the get 50 minutes. 50 minutes, mm -hmm. okay. Yep. You probably said that, and I was so busy with these Legos. That's okay, that I really you're, going to, you're doing I a great job. Well, I don't know. Actually, we can't ever show this to any of my friends in the, in the construction <laughs> industry because they'll probably laugh at me, but tell me about, we were talking a little bit more backstage, and you were telling me about um, a kid that won a couple of years ago and what a big mm -hmm. impact that made. Can you just kind of share that story a little yeah. bit? It was his first time in the competition. He won our overall winner out of all five grades. And a week later, we received an email from his mom telling us that he had been struggling with bullying and confidence issues. And she said that the competition did more to build his confidence than six months worth of counseling had done. He, um, the next year when he came back, totally changed kid. He volunteered to do a TV interview. He was talking to everybody. And, and he had been just this shy, quiet young man the, the year before where the judges had to really get down close to hear what he was saying. And it was amazing to it's, see that turnabout in him. That really sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. It sounds like an amazing event, an amazing thing for kids. Thank you so much for everything you're doing in Women in Construction and for putting on this event. I'm going to go sign up right after this, I think, <laughs> and keep playing with these Legos. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.